MP, what's up, oh, bro? What up, what up? You looking good out there, man. Appreciate it, man. Hey, that's a nice pick right there. Hey, I can <laughs> know when I was wrong, and if I was wrong, that's what I'd be doing right now, admitting it. <laughs> I thought you said I'd never be one of y'all. Look, it was true when I said it, but this new you, come when on. the eyes fire, come on, come on. whole different dude. I whole get it, I dude. get it, I get it. You want a Gatorade, bro? I got you. Why not, why not? It's on the house. My man, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yo, one more thing before you leave. What's up? Could I, uh, get a selfie with you? Yeah, bro. I got you, man. <laughs> all right, cool. So we're going to take this on one, all right? Oh, one. Cool. So three, three, two, one. All right, man. I appreciate you. Lozo the yeah. Crown, hanging with my boy MP. Yes, sir. The team's in good hands. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Hashtag official team crown. Feel free to retweet that one if you don't mind. Oh, I got you, man. We good? Yeah, we good, bro. My oh, man. We good. I'll see you around, brother. See you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what's going on, man? MP, how you doing? Bro, I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Yo, again, man, thank you for taking the time to see me, bro. That's love. Man, no problem. You know, I was in a similar situation last year, so I think I can help. Hold, hold on. Didn't you go top five last year? And the people loved you too, bro. Man, I went six. And yeah, a lot of people liked me, but there was also a lot of people who were shocked that I went that high. So, especially on social media. Bro, man, tell me about it. Social media can be so brutal, man. Man, that's what happens when it's all anonymous, I guess. Still, you see it all and it affects you. All right, so, so, that's a good point you said. So, like, how do you deal with that doubt then? Well, I've always been someone who likes setting up teammates, helping them succeed. So, as long as my guys around me were thriving, I didn't really care what anybody said about me. Wait, but hold on. Like, you, you got to play well, too, bro. It's not all about the team. Yeah, know? well, me playing well, my you know, means my guys are playing well around me. So that's just my game, and I can't really separate the two. Bro, you got the vision, man. You, you got the vision out there. You dropping them down. I see you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Look, I got to bounce, but it was nice talking to you, man. Hit me up if you ever want to hoop or you need any advice or whatever. All right, let's get it. An interesting bit of news today about the ongoing Shep Owens MP drama. Nate White of the Daily Horn reports the Houston Rockets have requested MP, their controversial 18th pick, participate in a PR initiative to win over skeptical fans. So no word yet on what exactly they have in mind to accomplish this goal, but J.J. Perk, what do you think of the notion that MP needs to win over this fan base with off-the-court activities? And here we are. It's more evidence of an organization in disarray. The reason fans booed MP is because he's not as good at basketball as Shep. These are some of the smartest fans in the game. You're not going to win them over with a PR stunt. For once, I agree with you, Perk. Wow. For once. Maybe I should rethink this. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, though, I'm, I'm all for getting involved in the community. Every pro athlete should give back. Amen. That's right. But, but if this team thinks MP can make the Shep comparisons go away by being a good guy off the court, they're in for a rude awakening. At the end of the day, NBA fans want wins. If MP plays winning basketball, they'll love him. If he doesn't, no amount of PR is going to change their minds. JJ, JJ, for once, you're speaking my language. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'll tell you one more thing. This young man needs to put in work. Leave him alone and let him hoop. Enough is enough already. Uh, we don't know what they asked him to do, so I'm not going to be right. too critical here, but I agree that basketball needs to be his main focus going forward. Preach. If he's going to change this city's mind, he's going to do it with results, not promises. That was refreshingly cordial, fellas. Don't get used to this, <laughs> You got it, big perk. Coming up, trade rumors. It's never too soon to speculate. But first, this quick commercial break. MP, I, I, I you got a minute? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah what's up? Over here. Over here. I always just anchor and you just you make it work. Not, who's this idea about know, you working on some win the city yeah. initiative? Yeah. Usually I just you should actually think about it. We have an open, we're gonna have an open Look, man, I've been meaning I to... I thought I was clear with you. Basketball comes first. End of story. I, it yeah. does. You heard about yeah, I heard but I got a lot of people in my ear telling me I got to do other stuff too, man. Yeah. What? You know, Freddie? It's all good. 
did I tell you about you him? Know, I know what you said about Freddy, but just because you don't like him doesn't mean he's gonna disappear. I told you, talk to me if he gives you a hard time. He's not giving me a hard time, Othello. The things that I do outside of the court does not distract me from what I need to do on the court or for this team. I need you focused. I am focused. You are a critical building block for the future of this franchise. I get it. And I appreciate it. I really, really do. But you gotta really trust me on this one. Because I got this. Adam's on the line for you, I... I'm serious. Let me know if Freddy gives you problems, yeah? I promise you. You'll be the first one to know. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Give me the... Adam! <laughs> it's been too long, bro. <laughs> you guys got in there. Um, what is this? Ah, this is the city. Oh, no, 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 it look like about to plan a heist or something. Exactly. What are y'all stealing? The hearts and minds of the city. Yo! Okay, j sorry, do your speech. He has a whole thing planned. He has a whole thing. Here we go. <laughs> MP, there comes a time in every man's life where you must face an adversary that is so treacherous. You have to dig and cause on reserves of strength that were un otherwise unknown to you. That day is today, as you compete for the hearts and the minds of the people of this city. O of this city. Wait, guys, come oh on, let's say it together. Everyone, sorry, Ricky, no, Ricky, time look, out, I didn't man. agree to any of I'm sorry, this. I thought we were supposed to be, you know, winning these people over and not destroying them in battles. I don't know what you're talking look, yeah, about. Yes, 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 you're winning them over, but it is a battle. I mean, no. you, you don't have to crush them, yeah. No, but... you definitely don't want to crush them. Okay, fine, but you can't just wake up one morning and have an entire city love you. you got a plot, you got a scheme. No, don't say that out loud again. Okay, That's... well, you have to have a plan. We bro. have a plan. Okha, yes, we've made some headway with the core fans of this group, and, and, and that's great. But we're just getting started, man. All right, all right, all right. I'm all ears. Yes. So what comes next? We want to help you make a difference in the community, but we need to do it strategically. So, okay. we broke the city up into four different districts. All right, now each district has its own unique personality and geographic boundaries. All right. You've got the fashion district, the music district, the business district, and of course the legendary Hammond Park. Now in each district, there's a key figure that you're gonna need to win over. We'll call this person the boss. Okay, it's like a video game then. I like a battle. Ricky, no, no battle. Okay, fine. Look, you win over the bosses, the fans will follow. And you win over the bosses by helping their communities. Everybody wins. Okay, so who are these bosses then? Ashley, you're up. As some of you may know, I do have a background in fashion. Don't be modest. Ashley has a BFA from the City Fashion Institute. That's mm. very prestigious. Okay, well, things did not work out in fashion for me obviously, uh, okay. but I was lucky enough to spend time with Callaway Shields, wow. the most well-respected professor at CFI and the backbone of the city's fashion community. Pretty cool. Now, you're gonna have to up your rep as a fashion guy. Yes. Uh, before he'll probably be willing to have a meeting with you, but once you do, Ashley can set it up. Wait, wait, wait what's wrong with my fashion rep right now? <laughs> I think I dress Look, fairly there's nice. There's nothing wrong, bro. I mean, you're just... You're a basketball star. I mean, you got to do a lot to stand out. Exactly. You know, Devin Booker hoops at Moss Point, and he just got a pair of those super exclusive uh, mm. player-only Kobe's Kobe. that everybody mm. wants. Mm. Yeah. You could see if he could hook you up with something like that. Right, and then once it's you that easy. get a pair, make sure you show them off in fashion walks. Okay, yes. but just remember that this is Great all idea. about Callaway Shields. Actually, this this is where he's headquartered, right over here at, at uh, CFI. Uh, wh why? Why is this map so big? You specifically asked me to make this map ginormous. Did. Yeah. All right, Mila, you're up. Okay. As you know, the city has a thriving music scene. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen more shows here than I can even count. When you think of the music scene, who do you think of? Just off the top of your head. J. Cole. Thank you. Easy. 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 Excuse me. I thought this was my talking point. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry. After you. My bad. There is no bigger tastemaker than J. Cole. All right. He does have a 93% likability rating among self described hip hop heads. Hey, best part? Dreamville Records is right there. I mean, this is the easy one, bro. You're a hooper, he's a hooper. Just mm -hmm. go over there and strike up a conversation. See what happens. All right, bet. That was my idea. That it was, Mila. See, I didn't have a script. I don't know. Okay, and now as for the final two districts. Talk first up, 
the legendary Hammond Park. Ooh, that's the Mecca right there. Yeah, well, as of right now, it's a no-go. Yeah, they hate your guts. I can't stand you. Hardcore Shep territory. Okay, I, I, I get it. The guy's been hooping here for years, but I'm not gonna just lay down and die. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. But first, you gotta build some support before you just step into that hornet's nest, which is exactly why we want you to, you know, make some inroads in these other communities first. All right, all right, fair enough, man. Cool. Now, let's talk business district. Mm. So in that district, the uh, key figure is Bobby Miles, right? Mm -hmm. Better known as Uncle Bobby. Yeah, the yes. most beloved figure in this entire city. He owns all the Perco Lattes. And half the other businesses. It's true. Yeah, he's got his hands in a little bit of everything. Seems yeah, like. dude does so much charity work, too. I mean, people just love this guy. Yeah, yeah but we need to start at sure the do. ground level here and prove to Uncle Bobby that you're the type of person who shares his passion for improving the community. For sure, for sure. So what are y'all thinking? There is a hot dog vendor, Carl Bean, mm -hmm. and Uncle Bobby has given him a little bit of seed money to try and open a brick and mortar, but he needs a lot more to get over the finish line. Right now, he only has a cart. Wait, wait, so I'm just gonna be giving him money? No. For no. me, that sounds like I'm cheating just now. No, 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 that's not. I want you to help him run a promotion. Next okay. game day, if you hit a half court shot during shoot around, anyone who bought a hot dog that day can present their receipt to Carl next time they're at his cart and get a free hot dog. This type of publicity is worth so much more than any check. He and it shows that in. I care as well. Exactly. Which I like. I love hot dogs. We know. <laughs> this sounds like fun. I'm with it. Great. I set up a meeting with Carl so you can talk to him face to face and see how he thinks you can help get the word out. Let's do it. Now, I know that all of this might seem like a lot, but we'll be here to walk you through it. I mean, just follow our lead and you'll be fine. Yo, honestly, man, it, you guys put in a lot of work in on this, and uh, I really feel blessed to have you guys in my corner. Okay, sentimentality plays very well in the fashion district, but it's seen as a sign of weakness in the <laughs> business district, so let's just, let's just be careful how you <laughs> deploy it. Yeah, I I'll keep that in mind, Ashley. Bro. Thank you. All right, y'all just saw that, and I just watched this. Palace Intrigue. You're caught in the middle of a front office power struggle. How you respond will determine if you stay in the city or get sent packing. So I'm assuming there's more objective to this than just playing an NBA game. But this is huge. You obviously get MVP points. But you get to influence free agency and influence trades. You know damn well this is the one I'm doing immediately. Damn well. Uh, let's, let's get into it right away then. We're facing the LA Clippers. Yes, this is going to be a pain in the ass of a game, but I'm ready for it. Leave like guys to enjoy. Scrap guys are new. Let's get to 1,000 subs. Let's get into it. Alrighty. In the Crypto.com arena, that is disgusting. Going up against the Clippers, and they have John Wall starting, so that's kind of cool. So we will be facing John Wall. And let's see if we is, let's see how if he's washed as he... Oh my god, I got destroyed on that one. Alright, I'm going to get subbed out here. Let's hope our bench... Can muster something up. And we're up by 10. I'll take it. All right. We got an eight-point lead. We don't have a great lineup in right now, to be honest. No Jabari Smith. My go-to has been Marquise Chris. As I'm going to kick it back to him. I'm expecting him to dunk more, but he's not really. But he's been balling out so far. He's got nine points in this game. So I will definitely take it. Nine points, three rebounds. He's got an offensive putback. Six points, eight assists, three rebounds for me already in this game. Zubac with the ball. He's gonna, probably going to give it back to John Wall. I mistimed it. Uh, John Wall, I kind of been playing good defense on him. I'm, I'm going to jinx myself here. Now he's just going to get right by me. He's going to spin. Like, I played good defense there. I don't care what anyone says. Come on, Jabari. Clamp up Kawhi. I know they have team takeover. And I know it's Kawhi freaking Leonard. But come on, man. If I can't do nothing on John Wall. That was great! Defense, Jabari Smith. I wanted to, I wanted to repay him. I want to repay him. Also, I did not expect Paul George to close out that quick. Jabari Smith, score on the position. Oh my God, bro. Jabari Smith is my favorite teammate, man. He is so goddamn good, bro. Currently on an 8-0 run. I just hit a three. Surprise, surprise. And we're now up by 12. We're, and we're going to be entering the fourth quarter. And that's going to be on Sangunas. Uh, Don Morris is a charge. I'm getting subbed out. Bench, let's not ruin this 12-point lead, all right? This is a really good Clippers team. This would be a huge win. And we're up by 8. I will definitely take that. 540 left in the fourth. All I got to do is just game manage and keep the lead. And they do not have John Wall in the game. 
I'll take it. Oh my goodness. That's a bad shot. That could be a green though. And it is. Nine point lead. I knock it down when it matters. Shooting like 32% from three in this game. I am shooting awful from the field. What a block by Jabari Smith Jr. I'm shooting 36%. Oh my goodness. This dude is amazing, bro. He is outstanding. Reggie Jackson with the ball, trying to get an easy bucket. Give it up to Kawhi. Norman Powell is going to be wide open from downtown. He misses, though. Smith with the rebound. I was going to go right to the paint, but I'm not going to. Oh, Jabari, you got to post up. You got Reggie Jackson on you? You got Reggie Jackson on you. Post up. Come on, score. That, that's an easy bucket. He's a baby, Jabari. 11-point lead, three minutes left. And we are going to knock out... The LA Clippers on their home court by double digits. Sabari Smith, huge game, 32 points. I shot awful, but I did have 27 of my own points and 16 assists. Five rebounds, two steals. Big win, fifth win on the year. We are now five and three. There is my final stat line, 33% from three. I still need to get my shooting. My shooting percentage is up, so it ain't looking good. I did get a playmaking badge. And I'm almost at another one.